Hey everyone, this is I'm Dr. Nada, and today we're going to discuss something a little bit different. Game development, which can be a natural next step for modders. I've recognized that I wanted a little bit more creative freedom, which may be the same for you, so let me know in the comments. For people with more experience with scripts and coding, doing art all of a sudden can be pretty hard though. Even touching something as simple as pixel art. But, fortunately, there is a tool for that. Today, we're going to be reviewing a piece of software that addresses the art issues for people with less experience, and it's called Top Down Sprite Maker. It is available on itch.io by Jordan Bunk. We're going to go over how to get it, install it, and use it. And then I'm going to go over what I think about it in the context of game development. Fortunately, getting the software is pretty easy. It is paid software, but it's only $6 for something that can save you many hours of time. Think about the time that it would take to learn how to do pixel art from scratch. After doing that, then think about the time that it would take to apply those skills to making multiple animations for that pixel art. So distinct frames for every animation. That is a lot more than 10 hours for me. $6 is a great deal for that amount of time savings, in my opinion. You can purchase the software using the link in the video description. And of course, as a heads up, I personally purchased this software. I didn't get it for free and I have no connection with the developer of the software. You can then download it for your desired operating system. It works for any platform, which is something not enough software does these days. Like and subscribe if that's something that really should be standard. You then run the downloaded program, which will then install it on your system. Then you can go ahead and run it. Onto how to use it, I like how the software is very to the point. There is no waste or excessive clicks. It went to exactly what I cared about right from the main menu, which was creating animated sprites. The best part of all of this is that it does come with a number of customization options so you can create something closer to what your artistic vision ultimately is aligned with. There's not necessarily infinite customization because there are a limited number of clothing options but it does a great job on getting a beginner started with additional styling, something that you could likely learn on your own with the learning curve made much easier just by having the foundation. Because remember, you can edit the sprites that you make so you can still use the different animations. As for the things that I feel could improve about the software, I would like even more customization options. I had an idea of just how I wanted my character to look, and there were a good number of customization options for choosing that, but there was a very limited number of types of clothing. Now, it was still close, and I can attain what I want with a little bit of extra effort, but I do have to expend that extra effort. That being said, it is hard for a developer to predict every possible combination that a consumer would want from their product. Most modern software is constantly being updated with different features that users request. Making software in general is extremely difficult. And this product is no exception. So having even just a little bit of customization here is outstanding. And it's really the only piece of software that I was able to find that does this reasonably. So this is paid software. So the question that everyone probably has is, is it worth it? For me, it was 100% worth it. I spent maybe between three to five hours trying to produce the pixel art that I wanted to do, which was just a standing picture, and I was unsuccessful. Even just that amount of time is worth more than $6 to me. So imagine all the extra time that I could have expended. Thus, I have no hesitation in recommending this software. 
I would give it a 10 out of 10 for my personal use case and needs. I didn't take any points away from that for the issues that I expressed regarding limits and customization because this really is the first piece of software that seems to exist to make this possible. I also ultimately created what I want with it. However, let me know what you think about all of this in the video comments. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and starship out.